Hey there, welcome back to Manatix Stringworks. Happy New Year everybody. So today on the workbench we have this Sterling Music Man 5 string bass, Stingray 5, black painted body, maple neck fretboard, 5 string version. Pretty cool. These are nice. So we have that classic Music Man pickup, humbucker. We have a 16 millimeter string spacing on the bridge, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like to see a little wider, like 17, up to 18. Simple controls, we have volume, and then we have two tone controls, sort of a treble in the bass. They do have center indents. So it is an active pickup or at least an active base I should say. There's the battery compartment and we have a six screw neck plate. And the serial number is on there as well. So it's in here for a setup but I did notice an issue right off the bat so let's have a look at it. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video content. So this base has a truss rod adjustment right here at the heel and it's one of those tinker toy or wheel adjustments. But I went to just, you know, check and make sure it was working of course and <laughs> this thing is just jammed. Like here, why not? Uh, doesn't want to move. Let's try the other way. Uh, it is just pinned in there. So, I don't know, I'm having a, a closer look at it. I think it's still working. It's, I think it's just jammed up against the body. If you can see that too well. It looks to me like it's just jammed right up against the pick guard and the body. It just can't turn. It's kind of odd. <laughs> so I think I, before I do anything on this base, I'm going to take the neck off, take the pick guard off, pro, take the pick guard off first, then I'll see if it's rubbing against the pick guard. I, I suspect it's against the body. And then I'll uh, take the neck off and then see if it's actually working. If it's not working, then that's a problem. If it's working and it's just because it was jammed up against the body, well, we'll have to come up with a solution to make that space a little wider so that the wheel can turn. So, all right, well, let's get this pick guard off and have a closer look. Okay, well, pick guard is off, and I think we get a better look here. <clears throat> Put some more light on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is just jammed up against, I think it's the body. Yeah, the body. Look at that. Okay. So, here, let's see again if I can turn it. Nope. <laughs> Loosen. Oh, we can hear it, eh? It's just jammed. Wow. All right, well, the neck's going to have to come off, and hopefully <laughs> the truss rod wheel is still working. But uh, I'm going to take the strings off. Hey Willow, <laughs> you want to help out today? I could probably use your help with this one. Oh, big stretch for an old girl, eh? <laughs> All right, 
Can you give me a wolf? <laughs> no, eh? Okay, I'll go get you some dinner before I continue. Well, as you can see, <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, right? I need to flip this over. I was kind of hoping not to have to desolder anything. Strings out of the way. Hmm. Well, I can get out this here. Yeah, let's just do this. It's very odd that the route in the body to accommodate the truss rod wheel <coughs> would be too short like that. I don't understand. And this base has been worked on before, apparently. Set up and all that. Is it possible the neck was, uh, <laughs> the neck position was changed? I don't know. Seems strange. So yeah, I mean, just loosen up the screws and then I can use the drill here. It's not going to hurt anything. screws look untouched, so I don't think anyone's taken this neck off since it left the factory. I guess it could have got through QC with someone missing that. I don't know though. When you go to set it up, yeah, you wouldn't be able to use the, the wheel. So, always get these things out of the way, <laughs> so you don't scratch whatever you're working on. Well, let's cross our fingers that, uh, that's going to move the body out completely. Alright, there we go. There's the wheel. So, before I do anything with this, I want you to leave me something in the comments. <laughs> Tell me, do you think it's going to work? Yes or no? <laughs> Let's find out together. Okay. You know, just inspecting it. I mean, it should work. I don't see any outward damage. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Cross your fingers. I'm going to loosen it first. Oh no, that is tight. Super tight. <laughs> oh, it's turning. It's turning. Wow. Well, I'm going to try and loosen this right off. There we go. Okay. There we go. I got it moving. Now, I don't know if this is a two way. I suspect it is. But maybe not. <laughs> Is it starting to... Uh, it's not really tightening up. Can I use my fingers? Yeah. Yeah, it's just coming... Oh, it's just going to come right out. Okay. So, this is a one-way truss rod. And, which is unusual for this style, but it definitely came off. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it till it just, I start to feel some tension on it, which is right about there. That's where I start to feel tension. And if I move it, yeah, 
it moves. All right. Here we go. Just a little, just where it starts. We have to check and see how straight the neck is. <clears throat> hmm. So, 34 inch scale. So, I'm just going to use a notch straight edge. I'm going to check that. Yeah, there's lots of relief in the neck. So, with no tension, there's quite an up bow on the neck. And I'll show you here. I'll put, there's a 22 thousandths. That slides under no problem. Right here, all the way, uh, starts to maybe right about there. So the seventeenth fret, back this way, yeah, right around the second fret. That's twenty-two. Let's add a ten onto that. So we've got thirty-two thousands. Yeah, still more relief. So ideally, when you have no string tension on the neck, it should be flat. That would be ideal. <laughs> but in this case we don't. So let's see if this truss rod even works. So I'm going to put something down first. There we go. And I'm going to try, so let's, we need to righty-tighty, right? So clockwise, tighten it up. So I'm right up and down. You can see straight up like that. So I'm going to go one quarter turn. Sure, that won't be enough. There's a quarter turn. That looks better. So now I'm going to do right around. Thing we do so a half this is a half turn oh that's getting tight Pretty crazy tight uh, uh, that's quite a bit of relief still let's get that 22 out well it's better I can feel it touching, so let's see. I can do another quarter turn. It's super tight. We're almost there. we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's try another quarter turn. Oh my god. I don't think I can get it. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, that's way too hard. Okay. That's 22. Let's, uh, let me pull it here. The lowest I've got handy is 8,000. Yeah, that still fits under there. All right, so we definitely need to straighten this neck out. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do anything more because <laughs> this is going to need either just some mechanical assistance or a little bit of a heat treatment. I'm inclined to try the mechanical first because this is a one-way truss rod so we can get this neck in a back bow mechanically crank the truss rod all the way and then we can release it so let me think about that 
Okay, well this is going to have to have a part two. So definitely going to have to uh, mechanically assist this neck a little bit. Might even give it a bit of a heat treatment. But it definitely needs some help. Uh, this truss rod is just too stiff. Not enough action. Plus, I'm going to have to route <clears throat> or reshape <laughs> this neck cutout right here for that wheel. I can see where it was rubbing up against the body and the pick guard. So I'm going to have to relieve that by, you know, maybe about an eighth of an inch just to give it some room. And that'll make sure in the future we have uh, enough adjustment. So yeah, definitely. We're going to have a part two for this one. Happy New Year! <laughs> Here you go. Eh? Alright. Thanks for watching. See you soon.